Utopia is a work of fiction and socio-political satire by Thomas Moore, 1478-1535, written in Latin and published in 1516. Moore's Utopia was originally conceived as a philosophical work, but soon became Moore's best-known work and a masterpiece of world literature. The popularity of the book is shown by the fact that the title of Moore's book has become part of ordinary language. The word utopia is a neologism coined by Moore to indicate an imaginary ideal place that does not exist in the real world. Today we still use the word utopia, or more frequently the adjective utopian, to refer to a perfect society in which everybody is happy. The story takes place on an imaginary island where a professional travel called Rethel Ifladé has discovered the best society in the world. Unlike the Europeans, the Utopians live in peace and harmony. They don't know what corruption and war are and form part of an ideal society which represents the exact opposite of Moore's Europe. Everything about the world of Utopia is perfect rational and well-functioning. People organize their work in a perfect way so that they can work just six hours a day. Political leaders are elected by people on the basis of their wisdom and integrity. There is no form of payment and people are free to get what they need anytime they need to. Private property is abolished in Utopia and people despise gold and money. Learning has a practical nature which allows people to develop exactly the skills they need in their lives. There is no need for lawyers because Utopian laws are easy to understand and to use. There is not one single religion, but many religious cults are permitted on the island. These details are enough to show that the society described in Moore's Utopia is Utopian indeed. Thanks to Utopia, Moore literally invented a new literary genre based on a powerful mix of travel writing, philosophy, fantasy and adventures. Utopia presents many themes such as health, power, slavery and causes of injustice. The theme throughout the book is the ideal nature of Utopian society. In Utopia there is no greed, corruption or power struggles due to the fact that there is no money or private property. There is very little hierarchy and everything is held in common where everyone's needs are supplied. Utopia is based upon the idea that money corrupts the government and destroys justice and happiness in society. Day points out that even the wealthiest of men still are not happy because they are too worried about securing and increasing what they have. They leave the rest of humanity without the means of meeting ends, leading to injustice, misery and crime. Sir Thomas More was born in London in 1478 and was one of the finest intellectuals of the English Renaissance and a friend of a famous humanist such as Erasmus of Rotterdam. After opposing Henry VIII's attempt to become head of the Church of England, More, who was a faithful Roman Catholic, was arrested in 1534 and executed in 1535. The Church canonized him in 1935 and made him a saint.